Hello to all, welcome to the channel GeoGuru. In this video, we are going to learn about pan sharpening, what is pan sharpening, and how we can perform pan sharpening in the QGIS software. So, let's begin. So, first of all, we need to understand what is actually pan sharpening. So, pan sharpening is an image fusion method in which a high resolution pan chromatic data is fused with a lower resolution multispectral data to create a colorized high resolution data set. Suppose in an image if we have a panchromatic data set with a high special resolution and other multispectral bands like NIR, RAND and GREEN with a lower spe special resolution then we can fuse this two product in order to create high resolution multispectral data sets. So this technique is known as pan sharpening but there is a caution that the result of this product should only serve as an A2 literal analysis and not for further spectral analysis and for this exercise uh, we are going to use the Landsat 8 products which have a several band uh, of uh, 30 meter spatial resolution and a single band a pan chromatic band with a 30 meter spatial resolution so let's go to our QGIS so first of all we will open our satellite data set so we will go to the layer add layer add raster layer so we will list uh, filter down geotiff file so there are total one two three four five files and all are landsat 8 band number 2 band number 3 band number 4 band number 5 and band number 8 okay so if I just need to check the uh, right click on this properties so the pixel size of this band number 2 is 30 by 30 and the pixel size of this band number 8 is 15 by 15 and if we check the band combination of lens set 8 so we can see this band number 2 is blue 3 is green, 4 is red, 5 is NIR and 8 is panchromatic with a, res uh, a special resolution of 15 meter. So first of all we will combine uh, band number 3, 4, 5 for making a false color composite. So we will go to raster, miscellaneous, build virtual raster and we will select 3 band that is band number 3, 4 and 5. Okay we will select the resolution as the highest and we will check this place in each input in separate band and the resampling algorithm it is an optional we can take as near uh, nearest neighbor or we can take cubic configuration anything else just click run so now we get a multispectral image with the name virtual and if we change the band combination just like NIR R and green so now we can see the false color composite of our imagery now in order to do the pan sharpening what we will do we will just go to the raster miscellaneous or uh, I just forget or just we can simply search here pan we just double click over it the spectral data set we will provide the virtual that means the multispectral profile the pan chromatic band that means band number 8 and the resampling algorithm we can take either the nearest neighbor cubic or anything you want and just click run So our output has been generated. We just close this and we first of all change the band combination as the false color composite that is my number 3, 2 and 1. Click apply. Now these both the 
layer that been output and virtual layer are both in the false color composite and if we check the pixel size so the pixel size of this output layer is 15 by 15 and the pixel size of this virtual layer is 30 by 30 and in order to check more prominently we can zoom into any area and check for a specific thing that this is the uh, multi-spectral image of 15 meter spatial resolution and this is the original 30 meter spectral resolution image so that uh, we can clearly analyze that this particular image that means pan sharpened image is more effectively can be visualized in the different band combinations.